Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. A very common problem on flutes is that the foot joints and head joints can become loose. And this flute has a very loose foot joint. There are usually only two tools you need to do this job. A flute head joint expander and a flute head joint shrinking die. How this tool works is when you turn this screw, it pulls the center in and that expands the end of the tool. This tool is the shrinking die and there's a screw in there and when you turn this it pulls the screw together and it shrinks the tenon of the flute. Look in the description below for a link to where you can get these tools. Head joints and foot joints can also be too tight and you'd use the same two tools to fix that problem too. This foot joint does not fall off if you hold the flute up but it is very loose. And this should be fixed because it might get looser and fall off later. There are different problems that flute tenons can have and I drew a picture of the end of the flute right here. This shows a tenon that's tapered. It's smaller at the end than in the middle. And this is a common cause for loose foot joints or head joints. Another problem can be that the tenon is too small. It can be cylindrical but too small and that will also cause a wobbly foot joint or head joint. Another problem can be a flared tenon and that will usually cause the foot joint or head joint to be too tight. A lot of times this happens when you're repairing a tenon with this tool and you expand it too much. Another problem is that the tenon can be out of round. It can be more oval than round. This will usually cause the head joint or foot joint to be too tight, but once you round it with this tool, it will usually get too loose, and then you'll have to tighten it up again. Also, there can be dents in the end of the tenon, and that can cause the same problem too. What you want is the head tenon and the foot tenon to be cylindrical. And the best way to do that is use the flute tenon shrinking die and the flute tenon expanding die together. Another problem is that the flute tenon can be bent. And sometimes the foot joint will fit on fine, but it will be at an angle. Other times it might be loose and at an angle. If the foot joint goes up and down as you turn it, you know that the tenon is bent. Before you do any of these repairs, check this ring. And this is called a one-third ring. Often this becomes unsoldered. If it is unsoldered, usually you'll want to solder that before you do any of these repairs. And other times you may need to take this ring off so that you can do a repair. And you'll do the repair with the ring off, and when you're done, you'll put the ring back on. And the way you can tell is, if you look inside the flute, usually you can see where the ring is. There will be a dent underneath there, and you can also feel inside and feel where the dent is underneath the ring. But usually you will want this ring soldered in place before you do the repair. In this video I'm only going to discuss how to fit tenons that are too loose or too tight. Look in the description below for a link to a video where I discuss how to straighten bent flute tenons. If the tenon is dirty, clean it off with a t-shirt type material both inside and outside. And if it's really dirty, you can put some slide grease on it with a tuning side grease on it, work it in and out and back and forth for a little while. And then wipe off the excess tuning side grease. First thing to do is put the flute tenon shrinking die in the vise. And then put the flute tenon in the die. And if you're doing the head joint tenon, it's done almost the same way. You want to make sure that the flute is in there straight. You do not want it off to the side or when you expand it, you'll expand it sideways. After you've put the flute in here, tighten it up just so that it stops turning. You don't want it super tight, just so that it stops. Then take the flute tenon expander and put it in the other end. And you can go this far with the expander. You do not want the expander to extend beyond the flute shrinking die. If you do, you'll expand the metal on the body of the flute. When that's in place, Tighten up the expander. After you've tightened it, you take the expander and you pull it out. When you pull it out, go in a circular motion and that will help expand the tenon to the inside of the shrinking die and that will make it cylindrical. So pull that out. When it pops out, loosen this up and check your work. And this is still too loose. Usually it will take you a few times to get this to fit correctly. And do it as many times as you need to to make it work the right way. We'll put that in again. And this time I am not going to tighten it up quite as much. And that will give it more room to expand inside of there. And I'm going to tighten up the expander. Now I'm going to do the same thing again. Check the work again. 
Okay, this is getting close. You want the foot joint to be tight enough so that there's no chance of it falling off, but you do not want it so tight that you need to strain and pull too hard when you take it apart because that can ruin the keys. I'm going to try this one more time. Put that in there, leave a little room for expansion. And put the, the expander in. Tighten it up. And work it out. And let's see if that's good. Okay, I went a little too far. That's a little too tight. It does go on, but it is very tight. So I'm going to loosen that up just a little bit. I'm going to put it in the shrinking die and turn that around. The flute can turn, and then if I tighten it up, the flute stops turning about right here. So what I want to do is go a little bit farther than that, and then turn it a little, and go a little farther. And the reason I'm turning the flute is when I shrink this, I want it to be round. And if I shrink it without turning it, it may not be round when I'm done. So if I turn it, then it will push on there evenly throughout, and it should make it round. Let's try this again. Okay, that is what I want. The joint is tight. If I pull straight, it comes off hard, which is good. But if I twist it, it comes right off. Also, the joint does not wobble anymore. So that is what I'm looking for. The head joint tenon is done almost the same way. Check to see how loose it is. This is a little loose. It, again, it will not come out if I turn it upside down. But after the player tunes it and starts to play it, it might come untuned. So I'm going to tighten that up a little bit. The portion of the head joint that goes into the flute is wider than the tool. Again, you want to make sure that the expander does not go beyond the shrinking die. The way you do that is put the expander in as far as it goes and hold it with your thumb while you're putting the foot head joint in. And then it will go right up to the edge, but not too far. When you've done that, tighten the, the expander. Adjust the shrinking die so that it can turn a little bit. Okay, that's about good. You want to make sure that the expander does not go too far. If that happens, it will flare the end of the head joint. To keep this tool from going, coming out too far, as this tool works its way out, push the head joint out the other direction. So pull this out one way, and as you're doing it, turn the head joint and pull that the other way. And after you've gone a little bit, then you can start to see the end, and then you know that it's where it's supposed to be. And this does take a little work to do this. Pull the head joint out and check the work. Okay, this is still loose, so I'm going to need to tighten it up some more. Almost always you will want to use a shrinking tool, but in some cases the joint will be way too loose. So you can take the shrinking tool out, you put the expander into the vise, put the head joint onto the expander, and tighten it up. Take the head joint and again go in a circular motion uh, up to almost the end. When you get close to the end, loosen the expander up a little bit. The reason for that is the end of the tenon expands a lot faster than the middle. So if you just keep the pressure on and pull it all the way out, it will flare the end. Expanding it this way will expand it faster, but you do not have as much control over how much it expands. A lot of times when you use this method you go too far and this is too tight. I put the shrinking die back in the vise and I'm going to shrink the head joint tenon a little bit. You do that the same way. You go to where it's tight and then tighten it up a little bit more and then turn it and pull it out a little. That will make it cylindrical over the entire length of the tenon. So try it out. The head joint does not come out if you pull a little bit but if you twist it, it comes right out. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos and look in the description below for a link to where you can get these tools.